this is the dress I thrifted. Hey, hello, my name's Lindsay and welcome to my channel. I forgot to introduce myself in this clip, but basically I wanna make this spider web dress. I thought it was super cool, especially at Halloween time, but I decided to make it. So if you're interested in how to make it, it was super fun and easy, no so. But anyways, I will show you how to do it right now. It goes a bit to my knees. I wanted like a longer dress. This would turn out perfect because it's not too tight, but it's also fitted. So I feel like this will be good for the strings to attach. You know what I mean? So probably has cat hair on it at the moment, but as you can see, it's just like this ribbed dress. It's originally from H&M. I just got it at the Value Village. So my goal is to like make it a very open back and maybe even like an open front with the net. Just be very like open with the nets, trying to put as many spider webs potentially as possible. I don't know. We're gonna start with the back. So far, that's my plan. I think I'm gonna lay it down and go from there. See you soon. Okay, so the materials you need are basically just black string. I already had this black embroidery string, so I thought I might as well use it up. And then you just need some fabric scissors or honestly regular scissors. And then E6000 fabric glue is my favorite fabric glue that I've used. I think it works super well. Um, but if you have other fabric glue, I'm sure it's good but that's what I use. <laughs> okay, to start, I'm just gonna cut the hem right off the neckline and the armpits. I want a more rough look so that we don't have to sew anything and nothing is hemmed, so I just thought I'd take it right off of that. Okay, so now we have taken all the hems off. You can see it's thinner, a little bit more edgy vibes. And then we're just gonna do the same and cut the bottom hem off too, just to stay consistent in the look of the dress. Okay, so I've kind of lost my voice, so just bear, bear with me. Anyway, so I just cut off the hem part for this. So basically now it's just all raw hem. And then I also did it on the bottom. It has to last for a night, so I thought it would just be better if there was no hemming involved and we are just like cutting, but maybe even just gluing and tying is kind of the vibe. So I have my Inzbo picture. I want it to be an open back. I think I'll start the web pretty high up, like up here on both sides and kind of cut down. So what I want to do right now is just mark how low I want the dress to go because I don't want it to go too low and then my butt's out and I don't want it to be too high. It's not what my vision is. So I'm just using my handy dandy little white eyeliner. I always use this because it shows up. So I'm just going to pick a spot which would be like my lowest point. Okay, I feel like you can see that. So that's my little dot. And then I want the web to go like, I would say to here, because otherwise I don't want the risk of my like boob being out too much. So I did this little mark. And then on this side, I don't mind if it's a little bit more closed actually. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, so this is kind of like my little grid. What I'm gonna do now is fully cut out the back and that's what we are going to use the string for and create a web i'm just going to start attaching the string to it so we're just going to wing it i think it's fun it's fun to do winging projects so also i know that this dress is black sometimes it's so hard to see the black fabric but obviously i want this costume to be black because it's a spider web so just bear with me. I'll try my best to make it more visible. Okay, so as you can see, those are the three dots that I marked on my body and now I'm just cutting it out. The first cut, I actually forgot that I need to cut the white parts off, so I just had to go around one more time and there's Maisie. <laughs> but I basically cut another like piece out just so that none of the white eyeliner was showing. And as you can see, the back is all cut out now. Okay, so I tried to show you um, laid down, but I think I just wanted to try it on, so I think it turned out so good so far. So I kept this strap attached, I decided, and I can just attach like the spider up to different parts of it. And But on this side, it's not attached. So on this side, I'll probably add the first string here and like attach it across to the bottom. And then this one can kind of like be a string that is held up as well across but I thought it'd be it's fun to like do something different on each side so I'm super excited and I want the center of the web to be around here so like a bit lower like not right in the middle because I think that wouldn't look as cute I think it's kind of cute to have it like to the side and then up 
um, instead of right smack in the middle. Um, so I'm gonna work on that and basically I'm just gonna start attaching these strings and kind of bringing them to the same point in the middle to create the middle of the spider web. So exciting! Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so I put this piece of like hard, I just cut it from a bag, just reused it. Anyways, this way you can see it. I turned it also inside out, this is super important because once I glue the string down, I'm just gonna glue it like right onto it, but it, this is gonna be the inside so you won't see it. So once we put it right side out, you're just gonna see the strings go to it, but then you won't actually see like the glue or the strings. It'll be on, all on the inside. So important to turn it inside out. I think I'm gonna also make cut this now that I know I'm not gonna use it as like a folding thing. Okay, okay, because that was kind of thin anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to create the center of the web around here. Everything I do, I'll reattach it here. Anyways, let's just get started. So I just wanted to show you how I did it. I basically would just do a line of glue like this and then I used a little Q-tip to kind of press the string into it and also kind of put the glue back over the string to kind of lock it in. I don't know if this is perfect technique, but it worked for me and the dress held up. So this is kind of what I did. Sometimes I'd add a little extra glue if I wanted the string to be fully covered, but that is kind of the vibe. And then once I had one side attached, I kind of figured out where I wanted the other string. I just wanted it to go across so that my strap would be sturdy and not be kind of falling off. If I put it too close to the side where the strap was on, it might slip off my shoulder. So I kind of wanted it to go across the body. And then the second important piece was the bottom part of that strap and, it, and making sure that that was gonna be attached somehow. So I was still figuring that out, but yeah. And I just kept adding more strings and then making sure that they crossed at the point that I wanted the center of the web. Just keep doing that process of the glue and the Q-tip. You know what to do. <laughs> Okay, so this is the point where I'm attaching that last string there. So I decided I wanted to fold it and bring it up to that strap to make it really sturdy and then bring it across to the other strap. That way it kind of finished the web at the top. So I just kind of put the string where that glue already was and added a little bit more to secure it in. And then added my glue on the other side, just like we've been doing and placed it down. And now you can see it kind of completes the web circle which I really liked. So now I just decided to tie a little knot in the middle where I want the spider web to all meet just so it all stays together so that when I put it on, it's not kind of spaces between the middle. It's just to secure that middle piece. So I just did a couple knots to tie it all together and then cut off any extra string. I tied it quite a few times and then on the last not I added a little like drop of glue and then tied the last one over it or maybe one or two more <laughs> Clearly I did a lot of knots, but that way it just kind of fabric glued secured the knot so it couldn't come loose Because once I cut those extra strings off you can't really tighten it again. So Just some extra security <laughs> Okay, so now to make those extra strings in a web, so it's not just this um, I just grabbed a longer piece of string because I'm gonna kind of use that to go all the way around. So I tied around the middle to one of the straps and I wanted to do an up, down, up, down pattern. I noticed that's what the inspo pick had and I think that that's what creates that web effect. So I kind of chose a lower middle spot because I want to have two rounds of web go all the way around it. I don't know if this is making sense, but just keep watching because you'll see it. So as you can see now, the second knot I did closer to the dress. So it's going from like the middle back down. So it's going to kind of create a zigzag effect, which is going to make it look a lot more like a web. And then again, bring it back to more of the middle and just keep doing that around like up, down, up, down, all the way around the web. And then I just kept going into the middle to create that second web loop. I, I'm just making up words here, <laughs> but I think you know what I mean. But anyways, I just kept going around and around until I liked the spacing of it all and decided to stop. <laughs> 
And then for the last one, you just tie it off in that last middle spot and then secure it with a knot and cut off the extra. And you guys, we're freaking done. Oh my God, it's time to try it on and see if it works. Okay, you guys, so I'm all ready for the party for that I'm going to, to wear this costume. And I just finished tying the knots like you saw. So here's the dress. I'm about to try it on for the first time and we're leaving in 15 minutes. This is, it's kind of fun, I kind of like, that is so last minute like this, but anyways. Okay, I also wanted to show you, I just did a quick Amazon order a few days ago, and I'm gonna also wear this necklace, like a spidery necklace. I kind of did like reddish, brownish eyeshadow to kind of go with it. And then these like sheer fingerless glove type things. Also, my voice is almost back. Still working on it, but we're getting there. But I'm gonna try everything on and put it all together, and then you're gonna see the final thing. So I hope it worked out because we're gonna leave soon. Okay, let's go. You guys, it actually worked. Oh my god, I can't believe it worked. I'm so happy. It feels very secure, it feels good. Okay, let me put the accessories on. I can't believe this right now. I can't believe I pulled off a vision like this. Can you believe it? Okay, you guys, here's the necklace. I think it looks cute. And the sheer spider web fingerless gloves. This is my outfit. I can't believe, I, I don't know why I'm so in shock, but I just am that it worked out. I was debating if I should add a slit here. But I don't think I will. I think I'll leave it kind of like this because the bag is open already. Okay, you guys, this is it. We have to call an Uber and go. Um, if I get any more photos, I'll just insert them here. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it inspires you to create your own costume or something. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. I gotta go. See you very soon.